Stocks on Wall Street closed near the session's lows Wednesday after the Federal Reserve held interest rates and its bond buying program steady. The Dow ended down a half percent. The S&P 500 closed nearly flat. The Nasdaq shed more than a quarter percent. The Fed gave no sign it would reduce its support for the recovery, even though it said employment and economic activity have strengthened. Market economist Peter Cardillo of Spartan Capital Securities says that signals that the Fed may have to begin tapering their asset purchases by year end. This was pretty strong language uh, in terms of, uh, of, the, of the economy progressing. And that simply means that once we begin to get all of these uh, macro indicators that should show real strong strength in the third and fourth quarter, I think the Fed is going to have to rethink this. Um, and they probably uh, will uh, begin to, to talk in terms of tapering. Shares of Microsoft fell nearly 3 percent. The software giant's 44 percent quarterly profit jump breezed past estimates, but investors said one-off tax and currency advantages boosted those results. After the bell, Apple reported a blowout quarter. Profit blasted past expectations and sales in every category topped analysts' estimates. The company recorded $6.5 billion more in iPhone sales than predicted. Shares rose 4 percent. Also after hours, Facebook shares rose 4 percent after the social network's profit crushed analysts' targets. Higher ad spending by businesses amid surging online traffic drove total revenue higher. Amazon and Twitter report their results Thursday.